Hey guys, welcome back to Tarot by Cherie. I'm doing 15 minute readings for a limited time. If you're interested, you can click below the video. And let's get started. Guys, if you watch my channel, please like and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. Wow, nice spread here, guys. Look at this. All right, so for starters, all right, I see you're still like a little bit stuck here, still feeling a little stuck. However, um, the rest is beautiful, okay? I'm seeing a lot of opportunity for you guys today. I'm seeing um, a lot of happiness and joy because you're balancing things out. And I'm seeing romance. I'm seeing this person coming in for some of you, okay? So for those of you still feeling stuck because you're alone and you don't want to be, here comes this person. And it looks like they're coming in super fast, okay? Rushing in with the sword. The sword is uh, can be a time factor. Swords are fast. Swords are quick. All right, guys. Here... I'm seeing some of you are feeling defensive because you know there's something, you know, not right, something going on in the background, but you're not quite sure what it is, okay? That will be revealed in uh, the near future for you, okay? You're going to figure that out, but for the most part, I see everybody's working hard. Everybody wants something. Everyone has this, you know, wish fulfillment, I want to say, guys. And it looks like a lot of you, if not all of you, are going to get this wish fulfillment, okay? Because you have the sun here. And the sun is a very positive card, okay? It's happiness, it's joy, and just a lot of positivity coming in from the sun. All right, guys. So... So there's still some confusion, which is making you guys feel guarded and, um, you know, maybe even a little defensive, okay? Spirit is saying this this new beginning, this new start, you, you're all getting this new fresh start. We're all getting a new world, basically, guys. This sounds unbelievable, but it's connected to the thousand years of peace, which I talk about. Um, there's a lot about this that even I can't explain to you. I know it's biblical. It's in the Bible. And we're at we're right at the uh, the beginning of that. OK, um, someone asked me if we're in it yet, if it has actually started. And I'm not quite sure about that. I'm going to uh, meditate on that. I'm going to ask spirit. But for now. Um, you know, I'm thinking if not, if, if it hasn't already started the next three, four months, we're going to start seeing things happening, but I believe it has started actually, you know, um, I just don't want to say until I know, but you know, my intuitive feeling is that we're in the, the, we're in this right now. Okay. We're, it has already started and we're going to begin to see some beautiful things opening up. It's going to start out slow. We're going to see things like, I don't know, the, the earth being cleaned up. Um, a lot of things they never thought to do before, like cleaning the air, cleaning the soil, cleaning the, you know, changing our food around, taking, you know, poisons out of our food. Um, you know, overseeing, getting oversight for pet food, like all these things that have been necessary that have not been taken care of. Okay. So you're going to start seeing that. Um, and then you're going to start seeing some, you know, things that are going to really be affecting you, including some, some money coming in. And I believe it to be a lot of money. Okay. So here I'm seeing this new beginning and in the middle. Okay. This is very important that you cleanse your old emotions and get ready for for some fresh new things coming in like love. All right. This is going to be your justice, this new beginning and the victory card is on the opposite side. So you're mashed in between your justice being this new start and the new start also being your victory. So that's like, you know, total confirmation that that's what spirit wants. That's spirit wants us to get ready for all this. They want us to, you know, Leave the third dimensionals alone that are causing us pain that aren't, you know, there for our better good. And we're going to end up helping them, though. That's why we're here. We're going to end up helping these people that a lot of you are upset with, mad at, and can't stand. So how about that? <laughs> okay. So here I'm seeing a sword tongue. 
okay? <clears throat> You're using your intuition on this person. Okay, you haven't made it any kind of decision as of yet for some of you, but you're seeing it for what it is, and that's the important part, okay? You have this broken heart, you're feeling alone in your plight here, and you're seeing it for what it is, okay? Um, also seeing this person coming in, this is romantic, again, we're wanting to give you their cup, okay? So this person is going to be coming in, and I believe this person is going to be going out, okay? This is divinely guided, guys. This is what spirit wants for us, because this thousand years of peace is meant to, you know, give us this ultimate happiness, ultimate happiness that we've never felt before. So they want you to leave, you know, the lessons, the teachings, you're done with that, now it's going to be the real deal, heaven on earth, okay? I'm seeing still some sneakiness, someone feeling left out in the cold and trying to get away with something, okay? Um, I'm not quite sure what this is, but there's a connection to a child or children in this whole mess. And then I'm seeing, um, I'm picking up on a masculine that is uh, stable, has the money, and, you know, kind of runs things, runs the family. Um, but everyone around this, this stable masculine looks like, you know, turmoil. It looks like just, just a bunch of, you know, turmoil. Sneaky, lying, people feeling left out in the cold, um, kids being affected. Okay, so here I'm seeing you guys are feeling like you're juggling your money, okay? Okay. We're all juggling our money, guys. You are my soul family. You know I love each and every one of you. We're in this together. And I totally feel that way. I feel connected to each and every one of you guys. And, you know, I'm not rich. I'm going through it too. We're all going through this together. So let's stick together as a family, as a team, and support one another, okay? Love each other, support one another, and we're all going to get through this. This is temporary, all right? I'm seeing our new cycle here or your new cycle here. We're, we're all getting a new cycle and we're all in it. The new cycle is just a bunch of, you know, beautiful things for your betterment coming in. And this has started, okay? Um, I'm seeing a romance coming in. Um, I'm seeing an offer of money. Somebody may want to come in and help you out financially. Um, and that's okay, guys. Don't be embarrassed. Don't say no. You'll pay it back when you have it. I'm seeing here um, celebration and a lot of hard work, guys. Some of you have, have had to, you know, pick up more hours or pick up another job to make ends meet. It's crazy out there. But we're all working our asses off. We're all trying to make ends meet right now, waiting for the break. Waiting for the break. And that's the money that's coming in. I know it's coming in. All right? Draw on your strength, guys. This is the strength card. You're all super strong. You're stronger than you even know, okay? You're the star, guys. You're moving into new water. Things are going to change. You are the star. You've always been the star, all right? You're a bright light of God, guys. You don't know your power yet, okay? But spirit is showing you. This is how they see you. This is how they see us. And this is how they want you to see yourself. You're the star and you're very powerful. Do not let people, you know, talk down to you or disrespect you in any way. Here I'm seeing you moving into new waters. Um, you're, you're suffering from anxiety, a lot of you. Um, we need to work on that. All right, guys. And I'm going to tell you how to work on that. The Ace of Wands is telling us, Spirit telling us everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to, you know, have I ever let you down? I've been there. I've backed you during every bad time. You, you, you know, if you're not recognizing this or because you, you haven't seen me doing it. All right, guys, you're still alive. You've made it through every hard time. Have you ever wondered about that? I, I have such faith in spirit, no matter what's happening to me. I, I've made it through every bad kind of thing that there was there for me. And I'm still here to talk about it because spirit was there for me and backed me and saw me through it. Okay. So you're on the right channel, guys. We're all going into this beautiful place together. All right. So let's move on. Let's see. I'm seeing, um, someone feels lonely and ignored. 
and and you know ha is carrying this weight around on their shoulders they're just not happy whatsoever okay um i'm seeing some information coming in some communication uh it's going to be good news okay it's going to be good news for you guys and now i just want to take a minute for those of you who want to know how to do these very uplifting um exercises that are going to do just that for you okay so what i want you to do and spirit you know wants you to do this as well this is going to help you tremendously it's a self-love self heal technique this is not for people who you know have issues and don't love themselves this is for everyone who wants to raise their vibration and become a manifesting ninja okay what you do is you do this every day all day long i do it all right first of all you're going to connect to spirit every day that's what they want from you all right ask them for help if you need help that they're going to help you okay um, then whatever you're doing, you're making a cup of coffee, you're going to out loud say, I'm setting my intention that I'm making this cup of coffee to nurture and love myself. I'm lighting this candle. I'm setting my intention to light this candle to nurture myself. I'm going to get my nails done with the intention that this is to love and nurture myself. All these little things that you do anyway throughout the day, you're going to keep saying those words. I am setting my intention, okay? And you don't just do that with like the self-love technique. Um, you can do that to manifest, you know? I'm setting my intention that I'm going to make $2,000 this week, you know? Um, that's how I do it and it works. All right, guys, so that's the reading. I hope that was uh, helpful for you somehow, and I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.